Creative Discovery Museum Science Laboratory. My name is Lucian, and this is my assistant Faith here. And today, Faith and I are going to be making a little bit of elephant toothpaste. Now, Faith, have you ever heard of elephant toothpaste before? No. No, never. And did you even know that elephants even brush their teeth? No. But if they did brush their teeth, do you think they would need a little itty bitty bitty amount of toothpaste, or would they need like a whole lot of toothpaste? A whole lot of toothpaste. Probably more toothpaste can fit in that bottle, wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we're going to make some elephant toothpaste here, we're going to need a few very simple ingredients. Now the first ingredient we have here is called hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to use exactly <laughs> a half of a cup. Next we're going to add a very generous helping of Joy Ultra Concentrated Soap. A few drops of food coloring. And then, the most important part, our catalyst. Here we have highly active yeast. Now we're going to mix the yeast with two tablespoons of hot water and add it to our solution. And we're going to see what happens with our chemical reaction, okay? Now, Faith, if you can, you, uh, could you hold this blue funnel for me? Okay. And we're going to place that funnel right on top of our bottle there. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to add a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Thank you, Faith. And Faith, can you uh, give me a few just drops of uh, food coloring in there? And three will work just fine. And Faith, next, can you uh, add a very generous squeeze of our soap? Keep going. Yes, you can use a little bit more than that, a lot more than that. Oh, that's very good. Thank you very much. That'll work. Next, we're going to give it a little bit of a swirl here, shake it up, make sure we got a good mixture. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of very hot water into a glass. And we're going to stir in our one teaspoon of yeast. So Faith, can I get you to hold that and dump it in there for me? And you can uh, mix it up with, with the mix it around. And we're going to stir it around and mix it up until all the yeast has been dissolved in the water. We're going to keep stirring it around and stir it just a little bit more. So you want to make sure you don't have any loose pieces or clumps of yeast in your, in your mixture here. And I think we've got a pretty good, pretty good mixture there. So I think we're going to put that back there. Alright, now for the fun part, we're going to add our hot water and yeast mixture into the bottle. And let's see. Does it look like our elephant toothpaste is filling up? It does! Whoa! And our elephant toothpaste is actually overflowing and our chemical reaction by our yeast acting as our catalyst in the bottom of our bottle has created this chemical reaction and produced a gas. And that gas is mixing in there with the soap and producing all these soap bubbles. And you know what the cool thing about this? Can you, can you kind of feel it? Can you touch the side of it right there? Does it, does it feel warm? It feels warm because it's actually an exothermic reaction. Because the chemical reaction taking place in the bottle is actually producing heat. So we can feel that heat in the elephant toothpaste. And it's still coming out too, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Faith. Hot five for science. Alright, thank you very much.